All right, so I wanted to get another dating up before reaction, but here's a video I generally want to watch, so um, I'll just watch it with you guys. Guess what I do to muzzle lock and take like, comment, share the video. All right, so let's react. Pay late, keep her may stay blaze. Like, comment, share the video. Links in the description for the website. Go to the Instagram. Coaching Demon and Word Shred for fitness coaching. First day for dating coaching. Let's get paid late, keep her may stay blaze. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I love you, motherfuckers, man. It's called How to Be Chased by Women. Let's react. I'm only going to watch 10 minutes of it with you guys. Let's get the gist and fucking fast forward. Really sit with it, of course, and have that clarity. Of well, they have an alternative way of serving others. Yeah, sure. maybe they have, like, you know, a career similar to ours, or they ad adopt, or they invest. But just purely hedonistic is dangerous. But I think if your alternative, your plan B, say if you can't have children, is to, you know, volunteer or dedicate to others or heal or help, that can fill that void. But I do think it's a human need to give to others and dedicate to others. What do you For sure. think about the pressure of the biological clock for women? Because I, I think it's important, bro, because it's real. It's a point of contention that is really, I have so much compassion for it. Matthew Hussey was talking about, he, he gave that example of like if the same pressure was put on as a man. Like you have to achieve all your dreams and become a millionaire by like 35 or 40 or whatever it is. Otherwise, it's not the same right. thing. You have so much more control of putting dick and pussy and making a baby than you do fucking uh, becoming a millionaire. With so many people and so many moving parts, like a chessboard, you know, and your relationships and this and that. Bro, who is this guy? Get him out of here. You know what that would do to the psychology of a man? It's obviously not the same, but it kind of points in this direction of this. Obviously not. That, you know, this so don't bring it the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. It's I do sympathize with them for the fact that there is, when you date a high value successful man, you know, you run the risk of getting cheated on. Some of that is their fault that they need to be more willing to understand the man's desire and needs um, that's successful or not, but only accommodate successful men. And when you date a man like that, or even if it's not about them go going out on you, the fact that you can break up with that man after years into it and be on your own could call for a woman's masculinity or maybe the discouraged mindset of why do I have to do this or uh, fear and do I have to do this now, I have a kid now, should I really not work on my career and just be with a man? I do understand that. With the lack of masculine men that are taking in families and, you know, I can see where a woman would try for career, for career and do I have to have a baby by this time and all these different things from being an independent woman to having a baby at a certain time, I get it. Or drop their standards in what they want in a partner simply to have the baby, which is, I'm not judging that. I think that's totally fine if that's what you want to do. If you have children, no worries. Um, you know, it might enhance the chances of a broken home, but sometimes the baby's worth, you know, the, the stress of that. So I understand. Um, but at the same time, I think um, women, what happens then when they, here's how you kind of cope with it a bit better, my, my oh, recommendation. Is. Sometimes they'll get to 40 and 41 and 42 and they will still be like, no, no, I want to have kids, I want to have kids. And they're like kind of fried with that mentality. I think the better thing to do is as you get into your late 30s, be totally and utterly aligned with a plan B. If plan B, let's say, for example, you're not having children, it's not happening and you haven't found the one or whatever it is, you find an alternative way to live your life that would still be somewhat fulfilling. If you don't have that and you haven't found your partner, you will slip into a slow depression. Yeah, it does do that to you. But if you have a plan B, that plan B might be, OK, I decide to adopt or OK, I'm going to date somebody that already has children or I'm a bit flexible with what I want to do with the rest of my life. Then you'll be OK. But if you have no plan B and it's just not a Bad advice, not bad advice. Again, I just really don't think it can be a one size fits all minutes. because there's just such a big spectrum, and I could see how just actually having a sheer numbers game approach of the more people you meet, the more likely that you're gonna find somebody who's in line with you. That also being said, like I believe there is this like vibrational or energetic component as well when you kind of I don't like this fucking and not eating this within yourself, which I understand yeah, can be so difficult. Class. But yeah. I can't even put myself in a woman with. For example, the biological clock issue, um, you know, it takes inner work to find that kind of self-satiation. do it. And I mean, for the woman listening, I guess, take it for what it's worth. But I do feel there is a difference in the men. Six minutes, 50 seconds. Here, and really just feminine and masculine, which we all have in differing degrees as energy systems available to us. But the, the man being more yang and, and penetrative and seeking and achieving, I feel like on the woman's side, it's more yin and receptive and attracting and magnetizing that towards which are two different energies. The and more receiving? Yeah. Yeah. How do you see polarity and how it um, can sustain the possibility of like a long-term partnership? Because we all, like I said, 
obviously have differing degrees of masculine energy. Some women are more inherently masculine. Some guys are more inherently feminine. Very little, though. For the most part, women are feminine. They're made masculine by men being feminine. Men can be feminine. I don't fucking know. Just be a man and be a woman. Do you think there needs to be a strong polarity in the differences for that attraction to stay long term? Or do you think it's actually... Do you think that it's, it's, it's more harmonious to have similar energies bringing us closer to the middle of that? I, I think, look, it is. Some people, some men, are actually drawn to masculine energy in women. They're Ew. They're drawn to it. Maybe it's how they're... I own. love femininity. I love pheromones. I love women being women. I hate that shit. It's right. Similarly, some women need that feminine energy in a man because it helps them feel safer and it helps Ew. them feel connected. So it really does depend on the, the connection you've had. But what I would say is um, masculine energy and feminine the key with both masculinity and femininity is that you're not faking it. Yeah, I do think the importance is. I agree, it can't be fake, but this is all stupid. Have like the, the possibility to make a relationship thrive long term. Perspective, I say, is a really important component of a long lasting relationship. And what I mean by that is having a partner who has the ability to view the same scenario from the perspective of their partner. If they can only see the world through their own lens and they are unable and really rigid to see how you might feel in a situation or how this situation- Yeah, I'll try to sympathize with my woman, but she needs to just see it for mine. And I'll try to get in her head, and I do, I do, because it's tough for women, and I don't think men, life is easier for women. I think we have different struggles. Dating's easier for women. They Even in that, they have different struggles. It's not about getting a girl like it is for us, getting a guy. It's about getting a good guy. It's about getting a guy that can provide and be a high value man. They get a lot of simps thrown at them, but it's not the men that they want. They'll become an impossible partner to resolve conflict with. They'll become an impossible partner to have a long lasting relationship with. And there'll be no compromise. But if you have a partner that we all see things naturally from our own ecosystem centric perspective to begin with, but usually over time they can understand your perspective, over time they can understand your point of view. And what it does is it leads to a balance and compromise. So I think somebody who has an inability to see their partner or people's perspective in general is a real red flag. Whereas some Somebody who can do that quite naturally, it, it's a huge green flag because it then enables all the other traits that are required for relationships. Title's a lie. How to be chased by women? You're not telling me how to get chased by a fucking woman. I should be rewarded, but sometimes that's coming from a place of need rather than actual genuine altruism. So there's the excessive giver and then there's the excessive taker. Somebody who is so comfortable with taking and so frugal with giving. Now, um, they tend to find each other. These two people tend to find each other as givers. That's so. Naturally attract takers and takers naturally attract, attract givers because they're a perfect match for their own pathologies. The key is to always, you can't make people give more to you. Yeah, you can't make that. If I've given, given to you and you're not giving anything back, uh, the worst thing I can do is continue to give as a way of role modeling. The best thing I can do is reduce my investment till I match you. Or you just have to match your partner's investment. When you match each other's equal investment, there will be less resentment. But when one person is doing too much, they're going to resent you. One person's taking too much, they're going to disrespect you. So you just have to match each other's This video um, fucking sucks. It really feels like there are two sides on the same coin. Fucking you know? turtleneck motherfucker. I mean, I'd rather be surrounded with a giver all day, but at the same time, they're both trying to fulfill the same need of how they think that they're going to be able to be worth their or in love. Yeah, there's both have a, a, a wound, a, depra a deprivation wound. It's just nicer to be around a giver than yeah. it is to be around a taker. Yeah. But takers are never with two takers. It's an impossibility. Like, one is trying to take, the other one's not giving anything. They don't really find each other. So givers and takers tend to surround each other, except in friendships. Friendships, givers tend to stay together, uh, and takers tend to stay together. But in romantic relationships, the pathologies tend what to What does this align. girl study? Like, who is she that she thinks she knows everything? It's very annoying. You like to, like, give love in your partnership uh, i'm an active service kind of person so i yeah. do like to cook and i do like to uh you know massages and I, I like to make sure everything's good almost like a she have a man put in the comments if she has a man i don't know if she has a man like comment share the video i'm sorry i made you guys watch this fucked video Thanks for watching. I'm, like, I'm so tired. Video. No one looks after me, and then I play victim. So I'm like, <laughs> fucking woman. That's what they do. I'm a giver. Why are you fucking with this? Is this like a, a yoga fucking thing? Your stinky ass feet with your ugly colored toes, your little ass pinky toe. Why is this on the fucking TV? She's washed up, gonna be single forever, making these fucking YouTube videos. To me, it I want to know more about her. Who is she?
I hated that video. You didn't tell me how to get women. It sucked. Like, comment, share the video. Let's get, give me recommendations to react to. Drop in the comments what I should react to next. Click the links in the description for Instagram. Follow me. Comment shred for fitness and first date for dating. Let's take over the world. Dating and fucking cycle. Knowledge coming next. The muscle architect. Ah.